connecting. It's connecting. What it do, bro? What it do? Hey, how's it going? What's up, brother? Is my connection? Can uh... you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. What's up? Right here, right here, bro. Just enjoy How's it going? Music. How's it going? Right here, right here. How, how you been? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Where you at? Uh, my place right now. Where you Got at? Got the lights on and stuff. I have, a, I have a ring light. Let me see if that'll... Oh, that's right. What's in you? Where are you living right now? Right now, San Bernardino. So I'm out here right now. Okay, right on. 909. Well, so let me you give right a little now? context, brother, to how I met you. Mm -hmm. I'm in the Bay Area. Oh, nice. But uh, give a little context, man. So uh, I saw you on the food community and immediately mm -hmm. stood out, right? Because uh, they usually got mostly rappers and all that. Yeah. And uh, I'm somebody, bro, that's like, you know, Cholo Thai. I grew up in the streets and all that kind of thing. And and uh, and uh, I, I always was somebody that also was like somebody that always kind of got in trouble for being himself. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I picked up, like, I would hang with, like, kind of different kinds of people. And, like, I was just always even even a little different within my gang even, you know. So, uh -huh. it's just one of these things that whenever, even even as I grow up bro, and get older and I'm past all that, that when I see somebody that is open to be them, whoever, like them, it seemed like you're being, you're, you're not scared to be yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I caught that on the food community. They were even saying kind of, like, rocker food, like, you know, yes or not. And for the mm -hmm. most part, you got love. You know, you never, you know, worry about whoever doesn't. But uh, yeah. how'd you, how'd you, first of all, how'd you feel about even getting on the food community? It's cool, man. I was actually on it before and I got a lot of bad responses. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So <laughs> this one was a little more, you know, like, 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 like actually positive. So that was cool getting like a positive review for stuff. Cause this is like my most like vulnerable kind of album that I'm making right now with like trying to like get all my genres in there. So it was nice getting love for this one, but. Yeah, I was on it before, and everyone was, like, saying, like, you know, uh, my voice wasn't, like, uh, w was one comment said that I don't have the voice to sound hard and, like, talk about hard stuff, you know? But, yeah. I mean, there's certain things like that. But, yeah, it's cool just, just, just actually being out there and, like, getting seen and stuff and, like, getting picked up by people. So Yeah, I mean, but, you got to yeah, be able to, like, I think, at this point, you kind of got to be able to, like I tell everybody, you have to be able to take 10 no's and get one yes. And that one yes will take you through the next 10 no's. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, and yeah, so yeah, feeling, tell me a little bit about, yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're from, uh, how you, and then also how you found music. So I was born in Santa Monica, uh, bounced around there what? a lot. Yeah. I, I live on Santa 20th and Pico, man. Huh? I lived on 20th and Pico. I went to oh, Santa really? Monica yeah. College. Same here. I went there for about two years. So Man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I lived off of Wilshire um, for a while. And then I moved to uh, like 29 Palms near Joshua Tree. And then Adelaide, oh, yeah, so I've been up Victorville there. area. So like Victorville area was like where I kind of grew up at. Um, moved out here a little bit ago. So it's it's been a, it's been like really, you know, just like, like all over the place. And then like everywhere I got like, like that influence kind of from different, you know, friend groups or different people that I've met along the way and stuff but yeah music man it's been like I think I first like kind of like knew I could do this like listening to like um what was that VH1 MTV at nighttime like when it was just all videos was it like after dark or something after, like that yeah I remember saying like, like that. it was mostly it was like the rocker music wasn't it a lot of rock music yeah like the green yeah, day yeah, videos yeah, yeah, yeah. and like all that stuff and like looking at too but then also they they had like rap like uh they had a, like what's called D twelve my band was on all the time so it just kind of like everything kind of just hit me at once and I wanted to kind of blend everything that I kind of grew up with so that's what I'm trying to do now but yeah it's but and, and what and like you know how a lot of people you know in, like in your age group are they you know they're really into hip hop so what kind of made you go go the other way or you know in terms of not I wouldn't say the other way but you know what I mean mm -hmm. like yeah like, kind of how like, how did that grab your attention over like say some of your friends that maybe gravitated more towards that towards the rap yeah whatever. I mean we all grew up rapping and freestyling and stuff but for the most part yeah like, I was gonna bring, I brought that I brought that uh -huh. up to say because you, you you reminded me that you had a rap name so yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh my my rap name uh it was Mr Mayo that was like kind of like my like what I would go under, and it was actually my, my uh, Xbox Live gamer tag, like the, <laughs> the, the preset like gamer tags they give you. 
So I just kept it since like seventh grade. So that's kind of like what I go under now or I have so many different little names, but yeah, we used to grow up like freestyling and just having fun, like, you know, in school or on the bus. But when I got home, I also liked like the, like I had an older brother who uh, would show me like Dead Kennedys and Black Flag and all that stuff. So I kind of like would go home and listen to that and then go to school and listen to the rap. So it was kind of like finding a way to blend it all together. And how about now? Are you trying to do that now? Or are you going to just kind of stick to more? Well, I don't even know. What, I mean, you, what would you call your music? I don't know. I was, I was hoping to ask you because from like an outer perspective, like does it seem more rap or does it seem like more rock at this point? I mean, just I wouldn't even say that. Just visually, it looks more rock, you know, how you look right off the bat. But I think nowadays is a really good time when you don't have to like define your music that much and you can like really mix genres together. You know what I mean? So it's like, and you don't want to put yourself in a box. So I think that that's like kind of, you know, I mean, you stood out, you know, and so that's a good good thing. That song, that song's legit, bro. That I'm not. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't even like, I'm like, the more people, anybody that knows me knows that, like, I can't pretend, you know, there's no reason to, especially there's like, not even on these platforms or what I'm trying to do. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm kind of inspired by Adam-22 kind of thing, what he did yeah. and what, how he and he he was a, a fan, basically. Or I'm a photographer by trade, so I'm around. I've been in the industry my long time doing in, in Hollywood and everything. And and so, and, and uh, you know, like, I want to, I really, there's a lot of stuff that I enjoy, you know, and I think that it needs to get a look. And so, like, Adam, what he did is he just started showing love and, like, for fun though you know because i just think it's fun yeah. like I, i'm meeting people from like you to people in san antonio to texas to other all around texas because i didn't know the food community i think i don't know, i think they're from texas or they do a lot of work in texas or there's some texas stuff, yeah. yeah there's some texas foods but uh like you know this is like i feel like he did that and when you know when they did well he was able they were all able to move up and you know so what i want to build is like a community of not just music but everything of people that get interviewed by me and then they can come check back in on the other interviews that are going on and kind of yeah, mingle exactly. with each other and kind of create like a, a kind of collaborative effort through telling our stories and stuff that's i like that though yeah, yeah man so so what was like what's tell me a little bit more about the song the song that i like and like what's that song about okay so i had like a a whole plan to like drop a project uh like January, the first week of January, because, you know, everyone kind of drops, like, the first week just to kind of get their stuff out. And um, without even, like, trying, I went viral on TikTok. I did this, like, tattoo video, um, and it got so much hate. It got, like, I was just flooded with a bunch of hate comments and people that, like, didn't like what I was doing or thought it was, like, you know, like... What were you doing? Because I tattooed myself. And I was uh, singing all the small things. So I was, like, screaming, like, like, like the <laughs> the song lyrics. <laughs> With no gloves, the needle was too far. It was just a mess. And um, where was it? So just, huh? Where was it? Where did you do the tattoo? It was at my apartment. No, no, was, no. But like, where on your body? Oh, um, my whole thigh right here. Oh my god! And I was Damn. doing like, I was doing like, what, like cool S's and like you know just scribbles like a middle school desk kind of. And I got so much hate from that, which to me like it's just like kind of normal. Like I, I do a little like you know bad tattoos just for fun. But um, people didn't like seeing that. So just flooded with a bunch of hate comments for like three, four weeks. I figured I have to come back strong, you know? So I was trying to make a bunch of songs to kind of be like, well, here's what I actually do. Like, listen, like, listen to this, you know? But nothing was strong enough for me to actually drop after that. I felt like if I go with like a, with like a really aggressive song, they'll just fall into that kind of like trolling. If I put like a really soft song, you know? So I had to find a balance and I came up with this one. And then, um, the actual guy that shot it, James, uh, shout out to him. He hit me up in yeah, like December video for too. a video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's really good at, at, at what he does. And he hit me up in December for a video. We actually had to get pushed back because both of us got COVID and stuff back to back. So it got pushed back, but it all kind of like fell into place with those videos. So. Well, I got to ask but about was, that now. How was your COVID experience? Oh, man. Uh not too bad actually i had like i had it for like two days like strong and then after that was just like tired but Damn. yeah 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 rough, man. have you gotten it yet that covid no nah, i got the vaccine i didn't even mean to oh nice uh i, I, the, I work for the county out here and they or i do photography they're my clients mm-hmm. and i was doing pictures of like people getting the vaccine you know like those mm-hmm. pictures you see like people getting vaccines and stuff and <laughs> and they had three left 
and these two polit very popular like polit polit politicians over here were like um they were going to give it to him them you know because they're like leaders in the mm -hmm. community or whatever and uh, i was just like but they couldn't do it they're like nah man we're in the hood and this or whatever and they pointed to me brother like he was a, a fan basically or i'm a photographer by trade so i'm around i've been in the industry my long time doing in, in hollywood and everything and and so and and uh you know like i want to i really there's a lot of stuff that i enjoy you know and i think that it needs to get a look and so like adam what he did is he just started showing love and like for fun though you know because i just think it's funny yeah. like I, i'm meeting people from like you to people in san antonio to texas to other all around texas because i didn't know the food community i think i don't know i think they're from texas or okay. they do a lot of work in texas or there's some texas kind of, but, stuff, yeah. yeah there's some texas foods but uh like you know this is like i feel like he did that and when you know when they did well he was able they were all able to move up and you know so what i want to build is like a community of not just music but everything of people that get interviewed by me and then they can come check back in on the other interviews that are going on and kind of yeah, mingle exactly. with each other and kind of create like a, a kind of collaborative effort through telling our stories and stuff that's i like that though yeah, yeah man so so what was like what's tell me a little bit more about the song the song that i like and like what's that song about okay so i had like a a whole plan to like drop a project uh like January, the first week of January, because, you know, everyone kind of drops like the first week just to kind of get their stuff out. And um, without even like trying, I went viral on TikTok. I That's did this it. like tattoo video um, and it got so much hate. It got like, I was just flooded with a bunch of hate comments and people that like didn't like what I was doing or thought it was like, you know, like. What were you doing? Because I tattooed myself and I was uh, singing all the small things. So I was like screaming like like, like the <laughs> the song lyrics. <laughs> With no gloves, the needle was too far. It was just a mess. And um, where was it? So just, huh? Where was it? Where did you do the tattoo? It was at my apartment. No, no, was, no. But like, where on your body? Oh, um, my whole thigh right here. Oh my god! And I was Damn. doing like, I was doing like, what, like cool S's and like you know just scribbles like a middle school desk kind of. And I got so much hate from that, which to me like it's just like kind of normal. Like I, I do a little like you know bad tattoos just for fun. But um, people didn't like seeing that. So just flooded with a bunch of hate comments for like three, four weeks. I figured I have to come back strong, you know? So I was trying to make a bunch of songs to kind of be like, well, here's what I actually like do. A... Like, listen, like, listen to this, you know? But nothing was strong enough for me to actually drop after that. Because I felt like if I go with like a, with like a really aggressive song, they'll just, like I'll fall into that kind of like trolling if I had put like a really soft song, you know? So I had to find a balance. And I came up with this one. And then... Um, the actual guy that shot it, James, uh, shout out to him. He hit me up yeah, in like, December video for too. a video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's really good at, at, at what he does. And he hit me up in December for a video. We actually had to get pushed back because both of us got COVID and stuff back to back. So it got pushed back, but it all kind of like fell into place with those videos. So. Well, I got to ask but about was, that now. How was your COVID experience? Oh man, uh, not too bad actually. I had like I had it for like two days, like strong, and then after that was just like tired. But Damn. yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Rough, man. Have you gotten it yet? That COVID? Nah, I got the vaccine. I didn't even mean to. Oh nice. Uh, I, I, when the I work for the county out here, and they or I do photography. They're my clients, mm -hmm. and I was doing pictures of like people getting the vaccine. You know, like those mm -hmm. pictures you see, like people getting vaccines and stuff, and <laughs> and they had three left. And these two polit very popular like polit polit politicians over here were like, um, they were gonna give it to him, them, you know, cause they're like leaders in the mm -hmm. community or whatever. And uh, I was just like, but they couldn't do it. They're like, nah, man, we're in the hood and this or whatever. And they pointed to me, brother, like, but Pocho can do it, he's everywhere. So I was put on the spot, bro, <laughs> to take the vaccine. I was like, uh, but the, I, I just yeah, felt yeah. like my, my family was gonna, my parents are older, you know, and so, and they're they're healthy, but they're older, and so I just felt like my parents were gonna take it. They already took it, and this was already like two months ago or something, a month ago, not two months, like a month ago. And like, um, and I was like, I'm I'm just gonna do it because I know they're gonna have to take it, so I might as well step up and be the guinea pig. But it's not something that I'm just like, oh hey, put some crazy shit in me, and like oh, it's yeah. all good. But in this situation, you know what I mean? I'm I'm open to it. And I didn't even get sick, bro. Like on the second time they hit you, they hit you That's two good. times with the shot, uh -huh. and I didn't even get sick. So. Oh, nice. That's good. You got lucky then, huh? Yeah. I mean, I also wasn't out really out there. Like, I'm older, you know. I feel like it's harder. Like, if I was a younger person, I feel like COVID would have been so much worse for me. 
you know, just like being, I'm a very social person. Like I miss, like there's a sign that says I miss fucking concerts. Uh -huh. Like I, and I slashed it out and said, I miss shooting fucking concerts, mm -hmm. you know? Cause like, how is it, how's that been? The whole, just like, you know, not being able to connect as much, but some ways, like some people, like Fool's Gone Wild and these Fool pages have blown up because of the pandemic, you oh, know? Is, so yeah. like it's, it's in some ways it can help you in some ways it's hurt you, but how is it, how is it? How's it, how you, how's it, like, as an artist, how you done with it? Honestly, Did man, it? I haven't, I'm not really a social kind of person, so it didn't really affect me that much. Like, nothing really changed besides not doing shows. Like, I was getting, like, <laughs> like, I, like, I was booking shows and stuff beforehand. But other than that, just staying inside, watching movies, kind of making music. Hey, so, I love, they're like, I've been social distancing. What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, man, but it kind of sucks, like, not, like, uh, well, like, like theaters, dude. I miss going to like theaters and seeing movies and stuff. Uh, I used to go there funny. a lot, like, but. That's funny yeah, you say that, bro. One of the big ways of me and my, my dad bonding, we bonded. I'm very close to my father, but uh, one way is we went to a lot of movies. And when we was, we were young, we were poor. So we'd go steal sneaker bars and, and food. Not steal. <laughs> we'd buy sneaker bars uh -huh. and all that. And we'd put it in our, you know, like, and he put it all in my pockets. And we'd walk uh -huh. in. And we'd watch three movies all day long, you know, just back to, to back, going into different back to back, bro, and just walk in. And because <laughs> we look pretty innocent, and I'm half mm -hmm. Irish, that's why I got the Irish shirt on right now. But oh, uh, nice. I'm half Irish, so my dad's a white boy, you know. So it's like, mm -hmm. and so like they didn't really question us, you know, that white privilege helped, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> and so, but we didn't have a lot of money, and so I got, I, I, I grew up watching movies, bro. I'm like, I really into films mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I was gonna yeah, ask you though. I, Oh, no, no, what were you going to say? Oh, no, I actually wanted to, like, make movies, like, like first, like, growing up, I was like, I was like, I'm going to be a director, like, you know, like, all my Stanley Kubrick stuff, but then I realized, like, you need friends to make movies, <laughs> like, you need people to, like, <laughs> kind of do that with you, so I figured, like, music is where I'm going to, like, you know, put all my time into, because it's, it's only me that I really need, so, there but, you yeah, go. that's, like, a real big passion of mine, too, like, making films and stuff. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's why I, I got into photography to tell my story, to tell my people's story, you know? And because I think a lot of times, even before, like, Instagram, I mean, I was late to Instagram, but even before, like, all that, I just, I was already telling it because I don't want people to tell it for us, you know? We got to tell our own story, you know? And this is what, like, yeah. I want to make also this platform is that we don't need to, like, worry about, like, I was on the radio, bro, and it was, like, like, they just, like, would censor me a lot, you know? And I'm, like, oh, a spirit man. that I can't be censored, my boy. It's, like, my yeah. spirit. Like, it hurts my feelings when you try to, you know? Like, I feel like I feel when like they so clip, it's, like, or so that's right. yeah, like, like, they clip my wings or something, bro. And I can't let that happen, yeah. my boy. And so, no drama to anybody. I don't, I, it is what it is, you know? It's a system, just like many systems that were not created for us. So, I just felt like in this way, even though, like, Instagram is destroying us and, like, trying to, like, you know, like shadow banning and just doing a bunch of weird stuff, you know, and like making, like I used to, where I'm getting more followers and getting less engagement than I did, you know, just like a couple, like a, like a year ago almost because they're killing our numbers because they want us to pay for like sponsored, you know, like uh, if you sponsor, my, concert, one of my homeboys yeah. that worked for Facebook, bro, he says, don't ever sponsor something because if you sponsor it once, they're like, oh, this, this person is willing to pay for it. So we're going to like lower their numbers so that they so keep they lower the views pay and for it. Or, oh, wow. And that could be a conspiracy. I don't know. But I kind of <laughs> could see how that shit would, you know, these tech companies ain't playing. So it would make sense. Yeah. They're like, all right, well, he's, he, yeah, it makes sense. If you do for like, do it once, you know, they're going to expect you kind of like to. Dang. All right. So the next thing What's is that? first tattoo. First tattoo was. Uh, it was a homemade one, but it was so small. It's like, oh it sounds God. like it. It sounds like a lot of them are. <laughs> my, yeah, my mom just joined, so I, uh, we'll see if she gets mad about this. But That's it was. So uh, Hi, mom. I, <laughs> Don't worry. I, this I is got like a, a Sony G. G. This, let her know that this is like a Radio G interview. Don't worry. This isn't a shock job. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so <laughs> it, I got a sewing needle and a pencil. And then, and then I got a string and like wrapped it all together and just like broke open a pen, like just like oh a, a writing God. pen, broke it open and just dipped it in there and like stick and poke kind of on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, hey. my mom said hi. And, uh, hi, and that mom, was the era I did. Shout out. Um, and then dang, after that, uh, I got Pikachu on my leg. That was the first one? The first like official one was, yeah, Pikachu on my leg. <laughs> But you're saying that was the first first one, or that was one you did? The first first one was the one that I did. 
And what was it that? Was, it was an arrow. Oh my god! Was it straight? Uh, yeah, it was a straight arrow going down because, like, so I was in wrestling, so I figured like this is like this is the one that like I shoot with, so an arrow on my shooting leg, which is like so stupid, but <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought that was like so smart at the time. Hey, but you know what I mean when you're in the moment, man. Yeah. Um, what's the what's the newest one you've got? Was it, is, mm. it, is it the Snapchat one or not Snapchat? Is it the what is it called? Uh, the one you did that went viral? Uh, no, it was I think my newest one. Oh, it's right here. It's Wiley Coyote. Uh, doing <laughs> his thing. <laughs> yeah, what was your first one? Uh, well, I got a gang tattoo. <laughs> My first tattoos were gang related, yeah. Okay. So, and I did also get it. I was like, why am I judge why am I laughing at him when, well, mine was with a big pin, but they were like wrapped with a uh, a motor, so it was like um, a big. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, but so it was, but it wasn't like like that though, bro. Just like get hardcore, <laughs> you know, like it, it had a motor, you know what I mean? So it yeah. Went, like, so when I'm, yeah, I had to like stab it each time. Oh my god. Um, I'm trying to remember the right the thing that you said in the party. Something about I'm tired of, of trying to be tough, or yeah, I'm I'm so sick of acting tough. Yeah, tell me a little bit about that, man. Kind of just with the whole like getting a lot of hate stuff too. Like whenever I drop something, it gets kind of like, a, you know, because I'm kind of doing something that's I don't want to say it's a different because people have done this before, but I feel like people like have expected me to always do something else. So whenever I post a song where I like act a certain way, it's like. I get kind of like judged for it and I would just try to like act tough and like say it doesn't bother me or, or whatever but lately I've been getting kind of bothered like I uh like this whole year kind of well I got got COVID at the beginning the thing went viral with all the hate comments my phone was blowing up and then the same night my car got stolen <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like when it rains it like, pours yes yeah, so I was like how much longer can I just act tough you know like like how much longer can I hold up this like front and it just kind of like made it a lot easier for me in a way just to kind of say like you know i don't i don't have to anymore like i'm tired of doing it i could just be my like if i want to be sad i'll be sad if i want to be happy i'll be happy to the highest degree like i'm just gonna you know kind of let everything be out there and if people like it then they can come and you know hang out and if they don't like it they don't have to really you know it shouldn't affect me as hard as harsh as it has before so that was no, just cool that you say it. that Oh, did you did you say anything else? No, that was it. I think. I think no, it's just it's 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 cool that you say that. And I've been trying to hold space because my homeboy said that when we do live, that mm -hmm. like it's good. Like when you say something, wait because. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm learning because this is all new to me too, bro. But I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm not gonna wait and like get everything perfect. I'm just <laughs> yeah, gonna exactly. Do it. And I think that that's what's fucking cool about like podcasting and also live shit. It's live. It is what it is. Like you got to get on here and have a real conversation. It might not be perfect. If there's no edits, all I do is boom, boom, boom. <laughs> But All I so do is just to boom, like... boom, post, and, and that's it, you know? And it's mm -hmm. very simple. We go for half an hour, 45 minutes. Like, I want it to be very simple, easy, accessible, and easy for us, too, you know? Yeah, just like, fun, they... too. At the, to, like, just talking to it. Like, actually, like, meet each other, get to know each other, kind of, and, like, have a conversation. Yeah, instead of, like, like honestly, look, like, bro, I'm not going to change because I have a, you on a tripod, but I have no, like, questions, like, here. I mean, I, <laughs> I think about a couple of them when I'm looking mm -hmm. at your stuff, you know, like, that that stood out to me when you said that part because I was somebody that had to act tough as a gang member, but to be honest, I wasn't like that tough, bro. I became tough and my homeboys made me tough, but I was a sweetheart, my boy. You know, I'm, I'm a sensitive kid, you know, I'm a very mm -hmm. sensitive person. And but the problem with me is my sensitive my sensitivity has turned me into like a not a predator, but like in the sense of I get mad, you know, and I can turn my like if I my hurt my feelings get hurt, I don't get all sad in my feelings. I wanna like smash on fools. And I've learned that that anger is a secondary emotion, though, and that in the that it's very poisonous, though. Like mm -hmm. anger can help you some ways, and it can help us. Sometimes it's helped me, but for the most part, it can be toxic. And so, I'm learning to, but also feel my feelings. If I'm feeling angry, don't let like I'm gonna be angry right now. It's funny that you said about depression and that you're not scared to like talk about those things or be about that because I was just I just spent like. This is going to trip you out, actually. Now I'm just putting it together. Okay. The mother of my child was just on here earlier. And so I'm going to say, she'll even, she can even back this up. A couple of days ago, I had like probably my first real anxiety attack since I got sober seven years ago. And like I, I was holding my daughter and I could barely hold her. And I had to like stop and like get sit down and I was sweating. 
And I was like, I also didn't eat a lot the day because I was stressing. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like major, but it was like I had a moment. And yeah. I was going through it. Like when I have depression, I don't really have depression for a long time. I just have like, mm -hmm. not extreme, but like a day or two of very pretty strong, very like well, just, yeah. just like, uh, but I don't have a lot of depression. I'm usually extremely happy and not like fake happy, just optimistic dude because I've, what I've been through. And so I was going through that, you know, just feeling like, fuck, man, what am I, you know, what's going on, dude? Like, I've, ha I've won so many times, you know, but when am I going to win the big win that I that, that can provide for my family? And the, I, last time I was in LA, bro, I was married and other things with somebody else. And I didn't take care. I, I used to work for Bruno Mars, bro. I used to do like all these, but I was also high off cocaine and just gone. And I just destroyed my, not my, a lot of my opportunities because of my drug habit, you know, and then I transformed my life got sober, had a, you know, and like, now I have a great life. And I had a great life then. I had a great time, bro. But, you know, now I know myself, you know, I'm not scared to be myself and I got a connection with my, with my God, but, and I don't push that on other people, bro. And like, I'm not as scared to feel my feelings. And that day I was depressed, my boy. This is fucking crazy, dog. This is with the power of this conversation. That day, so then after that, mm -hmm. I go home and I, you know, I'm smoking a joint I'm smoking a joint and I'm chilling and it's legal in California <laughs> where well, I know you're in California too. Sorry. Yeah. So I like, talk to people. Uh, and, uh, and I, I'm listening to the food community and then boom, that song comes on. And then you're the first look at, you know how I've had four interviews before you. Uh -huh. But remember we talked earlier, bro, you yeah, were, were going to be the first interview, but you're like the fifth now or whatever. And so because of what I saw in the food community, I was like, that shit, I don't know if you saw it. Remember I was like, at least that fool has the balls to be himself. Mm -hmm. That and then I got hella comments. So I got like hella people like that. It was like it was like third, not hella, but like 30, 40, 50 it was like, likes. Wow, yeah, it was kind of you know, and it, and then you probably saw it too. And then and then um and then I was like like a flip something screen like because I used to have a radio show called the Pocho Live Show and it was popular, mm -hmm. bro. And I left it and you know because I didn't want to pretend, you know, and like not be my full self. And I never changed my name, and it never really made sense with my pictures and profile, the Pocho Live Show. You know, it didn't really, you know, the name didn't really match my what I was posting about. But I always told myself, bro, like, I'm going to keep the name. I'm, you know, I might do something. Yeah. And then, so the whole, long story short is, I'm like, fuck it, let's start interviewing fools. I'm bored. I'm sitting around being depressed. What, uh -huh. And the reason I'm, I, I get depressed when I don't get to do my art. And my art is photography and socializing with human beings. And so I start to get kind of sad because I love my art so much and it's done so much for me. Um, mm -hmm. And so, like, and, and, and long story short, it's a long-ass story, but it's true, bro. So I start asked to do an interview with you, bro. Mm -hmm. And then we say, what do you say? We say? You said Thursday, right, or something. Thursday, Tuesday, yeah, one of those. And things. this, whatever. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just start asking other people because I started to feel hope. You know, when you start to feel hope, you know how like you can feel down, but something can inspire you, and then it's fucking on. And after that, you're just like, you know. Just, like, and so oh, then yeah. after that, I started hitting people up like in the same feed, and I was like, "Hey, you want an interview? You want an interview? You want an interview? You get an interview? You get an interview?" <laughs> and now well, I'm booked up in three. I could even do it more. I'm booked up three weeks, you know, and I could probably be booked up more, but I'm trying to like not go too far. Keep it kinda, yeah. Forget. Yeah, and so and now, bro, you you're part. You're you're the first person. I feel the other guy was the first interview. But you were the oh. first person I commented on that create. You're the first invitation to the Pocho Live Show, bro. Yeah. And I it all came out that, of my man. depression, bro. And your song that was like not giving a fuck about being like, I'm not gonna. I'm like, if I want to be sad, I'm gonna be sad, motherfucker. You know, because <laughs> we gotta feel our feelings, bro. We gotta get through our feelings so that we can feel everything's temporary. We can feel depressed, but eventually, if we just acknowledge it, we can work through it, and we'll feel better. You know, and. You have to express it, and if you let it in, say in this whole like macho man shit, it's not it's not the business, bro. So that's what I was gonna ask you is how like I wanted to tell you that story just because I was putting it together while we were talking, bro. It's crazy. That's you know? crazy. Though. So you're gonna be you're gonna be a real part of this Pocho Live Show thing, but but how has art, you know, how has your music been so like therapeutic for you? I mean, it kind of just lets me get out like what I'm feeling on the inside because I don't really like talking about it too much with people, you know. Cause I, I feel yeah, like, not, like, like I don't mind talking about how I'm feeling, but like I don't want to bother anybody with like my problems when it's so like every day is the same problem, you know. So it's like I feel like they're gonna get tired of hearing it after a while. So I just put it into a song, and then once it's out, it's out. Kind of like there's no, you know, like it's like my way of like kind of like just like like a message in a bottle, kind of just writing out my thoughts and just like throwing it away, and then 
on to the next one, kind of. And that's kind of what I've been doing for a while now. Like, I've been making songs since, like, my first recorded songs were, like, fourth grade. Like, maybe, like, around just, like, like doing little freestyles and, like, funny songs. But it was mostly, like, How old are you? for jokes. Huh? How old are you? Oh, I'm 22. Oh, nice. Good show. So, yeah, so it's been, like, it's, but it, I never really took it, like, seriously, seriously. Um... I actually made a song uh, called Fucked Up that was, it dropped last March. That was like my first like serious song where I was like, I know I'm going to make something out of this. And um, since then, it's just been like kind of just nonstop trying to like, you know, build up this profile of music and all that. But yeah, I'm just I, like, it was, I guess, just to kind of keep a long story short too, it was kind of just a way to like kind of vent at first. But now it's like, I actually want to, you know, oh, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Everything good? I, I saw a little circle on the screen. Oh, no, you're good. Okay, yeah. But, no, I just, like, getting messages from people saying that, like, they also feel the same way and stuff. Like, over time, I was like, oh, this is actually, like, you know, helping others, too, now, in a way. So it's kind of cool to, like, build a little community, too, like, of people that listen to the songs and that kind of, you know, can relate, so. Yeah, bro, I'm 37, my boy, and I can relate, you know what I mean? And, I, I mean, I could relate back then and when I was 22. When I was 22, I was living in Los Angeles, and um but uh you know it, it's just it's funny though that you, that's dope bro that you can inspire grown-ass men you know what i mean and uh, i mean i i feel like even though i have a i'm older like and and whatever like my eye my vibes are still young in the sense of i see the youngsters you know like i like i like to do i deal with the youngsters i seduce all the women with with your music, Mayo. <laughs> that's right shout Pitbull. Out shout out Pitbull puppy seven <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, and and and, how long have how long had did you like did you know that you were like a message in a bottle? Like, did you know that that's what was happening when you started music, or it kind of evolved into that? Like, you know, where it kind of helps you like deal with stuff, like from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, kind of, yeah, but it was more so just to make me laugh. Like, I was making like joke songs. Like, um, like I remember making like like versions of like kind of like parodies in a way yeah yeah or like yeah. popular songs and like kind of like 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 rapping it to my friends and stuff making everybody laugh and uh so i guess it kind of always been like a way to kind of you know like just help me like if it was like just for jokes or if it was just to get everything out but it started off being like parody songs and then just you know being funny like my friend richie and i um would make like rap songs back and forth just like trying to like make the funniest bars like in each verse and then whoever like you know just stuff like that but now we actually make serious songs too so it's like weird how that evolved kind of yeah it, do you see yourself doing anything else like does it I, I feel like I'm always I might do other things but I'll always be a photographer like I don't really consider myself a photographer I, mean, I guess but uh, I'm I'll always it's tattooed on me like I, you know it's like a very serious thing for me is how do you feel about that because i feel like it becomes almost like a child i have a child and it's not the same but it it becomes something that's very like i don't i don't have a lot of i have friends you know but i don't have a lot of time for people because i'm really into what i'm doing you know and i have like a, a, a kind of spiritual connection to my work and so i was wondering if you yeah. if you built have kind of I, like i wish i would have built that at your age i didn't even meet photography till 25 really and i didn't take it serious till i was about 27 and so i've been I've been a professional photographer for 10 years, doing it for 12, but like, you know, so how is that, how, how does it hit you kind of, you know? Um, like how, think, how, yeah, this is all I'm gonna, this is all I'm really gonna do, I think. Like, I mean, I'm not, like, I, I like other things too, like filmmaking obviously was like my first thing I fell in love with. Um, I, I, I mean, like I do other things too, like, 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 like a podcast I have, um, but just, I think music is going to be, like, the, like, the one thing that I can only, like, because, honestly, I'm not really good at anything else. Like, <laughs> um, like, school really wasn't, I mean, it was, like, okay, but I didn't really enjoy it. I went to, like, four different colleges. I didn't enjoy that. I went to EMT school. I didn't enjoy that. Um, I've had, like, ten jobs didn't enjoy them so music is like the only thing that i could really you know yeah bro, enjoy man. doing mm. yeah i uh i had a city job before bro and i couldn't do it 
like the nine to five, like mm -hmm. it was just strange, you know, it feels so weird. I would rather work 80 hours, but they'd be my hours, you know, than like have to exactly, go up, yeah. wake up every single day. I, and I respect people that do it because it's hard and I've done it, you know, and, and I will do it again if I need to as a father, but if I can make mm -hmm. it out and, you know, that's another dream I have is to create a platform for my people, bro, that like, you know, Adam 22 and those guys that are inspired, like, they don't really have that much looks for Latino people. There's one or two people that they've interviewed, you know, and a lot of hip hop mm -hmm. and music, it's really hard for our people to get in, you know, even in the rock space and in the hip hop space. And so, in my opinion, I'm like, well, why not? We There's enough of us. So why not? Why not? Uh, why not make our own platforms? Right? Why not have our own interviewers? Why not have our own videographers, photographers, musicians? And not to say that we can't mix with everybody, but just that, you know what I mean? We can support each other because we know the struggle. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like, too, like, like that's kind of a good thing, too, to kind of, like, build together because I noticed a lot of, like, just, like, in that community kind of, of, like, our people, like, instead of, like, being, like, uplifting and, like, building up together, it's mostly, like, you know, turning each other down in a way. If you notice, yeah. like, a lot of, like, like artists that are coming up like get like a lot of hate comments and a lot of like you know like like on that page for example like every song like people don't even really, really like uh, I guess, like like actually hear before they like start judging it you know they'll just like like judge first and then kind of like say like trash or if it's not you know their style they won't really like bump it yeah that's something i wanted to talk about too bro it's just like and it's funny how it can affect us like you can get 20 comments bro and if one comment is wrong you'll focus on that one comment. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is just trolls, bro, and how, like, to deal with it and not let it affect you, bro, because, like, it can affect you. And it, it's even affected me before. But uh, you got to remember, most of these people, bro, like, they, if you ever check their profiles, they're not even showing who they are. You know, they're afraid yeah. to be public. So remember that, that they're 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 running around with, the, you know. And the, the guys that are, like, 44 and the guys that run pages that have their face masks, they're being honest because they're running the platform. But, if they're, but they're not running around being trolls. You know, they're just... They don't want to show who they are because it's about the platform. Yeah. And, but exactly. it's, it's the trolls. And, and we got to remember, so if we were in real life, they wouldn't even be here. They're scared to be in our presence. Exactly. So they have to hide. I had this one friend. Uh, it's, it's kind of off topic, but I had a friend. Uh, I, I don't know where he's at now, but he, um, he was getting trolled online. Found out that he lived in Ohio and he drove from California to Ohio to go and fight the guy. Like they had it scheduled out and everything. They had a whole <laughs> thing planned out. But and it if it ever gets that bad, I need I know I need to calm down a little bit. Yeah, and it happened. He actually went. He told me that 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 it happened. I don't know if it actually did, but I know he missed work a few days. <laughs> so I'm assuming he drove out there because <laughs> I, I didn't see him for like three days. Yeah, I mean, does that affect you a lot, the negative comments? Honestly, no. I mean, my family kind of, like, got me ready for it, I guess, early on by, like, the jokes and, you know, just, like, kind of, like, saying things to me earlier. So, like, and, and then, like, 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 the friends group I had around, too, was kind of, like, real, you know, like, pushing buttons. So, it kind of built up this, like, you know, I guess barricade for all that stuff. Like, if I can take it from people that I actually care about, People online don't really have that big of a say on me, but. But sometimes, I don't know, bro. Sometimes we'd be letting strangers affect us, you know? Strangers, bro. People that will never meet us. And I can't even, I let, I've let myself fall off a couple times, bro. You know, like, what am I doing? You know, I'm grown. I'm Thank old, you, I got bro. I'm just, like, reading all the comments. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's the thing that uh, they won't run a, they won't run a fade, though. They won't run a fade. That's the other thing. And sometimes I'd be trying to run phase with people too. And I'm like, what is wrong with me, dog? I got, I got a daughter. I got things to do, man. I got, you know, I got a career, bro. <laughs> so, uh, I mean. <laughs> were you going to say something? It's, I mean, yeah, it's been a while for me. Like, I haven't gotten into any, like, physical altercation. And I was telling my girl, like, I need to, like, get some energy out. Like, just not even if it's, like, a person. It's, like, I need to punch a bag or do something. Because, like, at times you need, you know, you just need that kind of physical, like, force kind of. Well, you know, there's places you can go where, like, you can literally go to places and they let you break shit, and you pay you like. Shout it out. Yeah, you go to like twenty dollars <laughs> and you go pay and you just like break a car, you break other things, glass, and, and it's to get stressed out. Bad. It's a new thing. <laughs> I need so, to it out. so just to slowly wrap it up, uh, what's what, what's what's the game plan? What's what's coming next? What, I know you you got talk to me about tomorrow. What's what's cracking? 
So I have an album dropping tomorrow. Um, it's a mixture of like all that like rock and rap kind of um, kind of stuff. I got influence from like uh, like um, Green Day, Blink kind of on one end, and then one end is like Hobson kind of like rapping. So it, it's 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 gonna be everything. Um, and then I'm shooting a video this weekend too. So that should be coming out soon. Nice. And then I want to get merch done, but I'm so bad at designing clothes. Oh yeah. Put that love on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not really good with it. Huh? Put a get a shirt and put your tattoos on it. Just like all, just just all. Just random guys. tattoos, bro. Just ran your random tattoos on it. Head up and shit. I don't know. You know, just slang it for that cheap. Was cool. Just playing it for cheap. It was cheap anyway, right? It's just like kind of saying like, yeah. it's kind of a way of like mocking the the industry uh -huh. too. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just nice. like I'll yeah, that that was... mm -hmm. Yeah, some ideas. Because I have this thing called. All right, we good? Yeah. It paused a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, my little brand thing is called Low Quality. Because, like, everything I've kind of done so far has been, like, a low-quality version of trying to get out there. So I want to just, like, put on, like, low-quality t-shirt and then just, like, rock that every day for, like, a month until it gains some traction. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. That's tight. That's tight, man. Um, you want to give any shout-outs or anybody, like, that's inspiring you, that's helped you out in your life, that, you know, looking out for you? Mm -hmm. Shout-out. Uh, well, first off, Pitbull Puppy 7, Danny. His tape is out. Um, on SoundCloud, it, and it's it's pretty good, man. It's it's three tracks, just like that, like old school rap style. He, he wants really you to sing. To he wants me to sing. Huh? I saw that comment earlier. You saw that? You <laughs> but, thought I was gonna forget? I just I, I, I didn't want to put you on the spot, but I had to let you know at least that he saw that. That you said that. Yeah. Man. Shout out Richie. That's like my best friend right there. Um, he has songs out too, but he has a, I think he has like three songs out, and they're really good stuff. He has some more coming out. Um, a lot of people actually that influence me now that I think about it, but hey, your mom said me. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I better get my credit. I mean, I gotta get. I mean, a good boy. Shout out, mom. <laughs> Her TikTok went viral too. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was like a fake FaceTime prank I did on her. Oh, really? It's at like yeah, it's, it's at like six million views now. Yeah, so, what so the it's all going over her head. I yeah, just feel so weird time. being on TikTok myself, but I need to get on. I mean, I'm on there, but I don't do anything. I just need to, but I'm just, it's just too much. But I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm focused on this right now. But that, yeah, I need, like, TikTok's pretty cool, though, in that sense. And, you know, but that's funny. I'm going to definitely check it out, though. It's just it's just the algorithm, like, is, like, so different than, like, Instagrams. Where, like, oh, you, you get know, so like, much like views, though. Kind of, like, mm -hmm. You get so many yeah, views, like, any video can pop up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like they were like how Instagram used to be or something like, I don't know if you heard about how kind of Instagram, Facebook and how they're doing, they're kind of pulling, like I was telling you, pulling back on the engagement. Like you only get like 10% of your, like only 10% of your, like your group or your people on your page or will really see your post, you know, unless you like trying to, yeah, the stories are pretty powerful though. They, they still work. So I feel like telling everybody, like still focus on doing the stories. And, um, mm -hmm. and so you're going to do the album, a video drop. How do you feel about this idea that a lot of people are saying, like, dude, I'm barely even doing albums anymore. I'm just doing songs with videos, songs and videos, song, video. I think that's the way to go, to be honest, because, like, even, let's say someone like Jack Harlow, his album just dropped, and I only probably checked out, like, four songs on it. And that's yeah. someone who, like, I really, like, kind of, you know, <laughs> actually listen to. So, for me, like, it's going to get a few streams, maybe, and then, okay. you know. I just wasted seven songs, but I feel like these have to get out already so I can focus on the new stuff. But once this drops, I'm probably just going to do singles and videos, like maybe just kind of stick to that. You're going slow motion on me. Slow motion, slow motion, slow motion, slow motion, slow motion, slow motion. Good now? You, you're starting to become great. <laughs> What's just funny is it's like slow motion. It's coming. There it is. Hold on. We're 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 coming back. That's part of hey, that's part of the that's part of this whole thing, bro, is that we're gonna just like we're gonna keep it going live, you know, no matter what. Like it's still now now it's barely. I know. 
He froze. He's still freezing. I'm going I'm to wait till it comes back, even before we get off. <laughs> but that's part of the whole social live experience, bro. Real pictures, real photos, real live video. You feel me? The Obama phone. I'm telling you. Yeah, you got to get a... He says that you got an Obama phone. <laughs> Obama phone. We, there you go. You coming back slowly? There you go. Uh, you're Thank doing you. the slow motion thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe move around a little bit. There it is. It's starting to slowly work. Message. Nah, we'll I think you're good. There you are. Yeah, there you go. For sure. Hey, that's part of the All experience, right. though, bro. I wanted to be like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, I exactly. Be, yeah. Just, no, just we're real, good. Just like, I just wanted to be real. I just want, like, I don't. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't care if it, like nothing's per. You know, thing. If things like don't work. Like one time, one of the homies had to call me back, but he called me back so fast that it was like not even a big deal. But like. Oh, nice. Um, I wanted to be like that. Like, this is real life. This is how it does. You know, exactly. this is, you know, but like, we're really having a conversation on live. You know what I mean? Whatever happens, happens. That's the kind of the point oh. of it. So. Um, yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. And uh, Thank you, man. You know, let me know. You. Yeah, and let me know, bro. Like, I want to make this a platform where you can, uh, like, tag me on anything and I'll share it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you have something coming up, you can come in, come back again. It's not like a one-time okay, shot. Okay, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, jump thank in. you. Yeah, jump in yeah, anytime. Yeah, a lot of stuff yeah. dropping. Yeah, the next project you have, you just let me know. We'll get another interview going and just do a quick, mm -hmm. you know, because a quick 30, 45-minute interview um, is not a big deal, you know what I mean? And that's what makes it easy. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it, my boy. Any more shout-outs? You good? Shout-out my girl, Monique. Uh, she's right. over Ooh. here, but I can't show her right now. Uh, her app yes. is uh, Slow Down Faster. Uh, co-host on the Blow podcast down too. Co-host on the podcast, Whoa. and she has her own shop. She runs, sells clothes and stuff. So that's tight. Right on, yeah. right on. Hey, say, say her, say her name one more time on Instagram. It's a uh, slow down faster. Slow down faster. Everybody, go check that out. And All we have the low quality Everybody... podcast. What is it called? It's called the, 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 the what's called low quality podcast. Yeah. <laughs> So that's coming in too. We have like a few episodes up already, like five episodes up, and the new one's gonna drop on Monday. So, oh, that's dope, bro. I but like yeah. I like the names of them. All. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But yeah, right, man, thank you boy. for this. It was really fun. Yeah, man. Anytime, my boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close out. Then everybody, I appreciate y'all for being here. Another Pocho Live Show, now live interview. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys content from people that I believe in, people that I I I, I think need to have a look, people that I I believe in, and and or that I think are going to kind of be the next generation of of artists of ex people that are expressing themselves authentically and this homeboy right here to i want to give a little ending context uh, i met him on the full community he had a dope song what's the sound like, what's the name of your song it's called i think too much i think too much and it, and it affected me i was going through some depression i'm 37 years old and this young man uh, inspired me with his music and made me feel like that I needed to talk to him. And now I'm doing live interviews back again. And it's bringing hope. It's bringing a lot of hope in my heart because uh, before I was feeling down because I felt like I wasn't able to express my art. And now I'm being able to express my art in another way because I believe all art is just expression. So again, if you'd like to be interviewed, if you believe somebody has an inspiring story, if you have a look or anything that you think is worthy of whatever you know i really want to create a platform where it's a uh, open space for not just me my look but like say you too bro like if you have your friends that you really believe mm -hmm. like that they want to be interviewed not just you know for cloud or whatever but they got something to say mm -hmm. please uh let them you know the space is open for you and your friends your girl your family your, your, your mom shout out to the familia and uh <laughs> and everybody again so keep sending me the dms i've had a great this has been actually a really great experience so far I have got many DMs. I have, I'm already booked out three weeks, you know, and I'm doing, now I'm starting to do two, sometimes two interviews a day. And the yeah. interviews are going to be either at 12 o'clock in the uh, 12 noon or seven or eight o'clock, depending uh, where you're at uh, in the, in the world. 
Um, so keep coming back. I appreciate everybody for sticking through and uh, chilling out with my boy, uh, Steven Montez, a.k.a. Mr. Mayo. Was it? Mr. How you say it? Uh, Mayo. Mayo, Mayo. Why did I say Mayo? Mayo? <laughs> hey, you know when I, hey, wait, you know when I got it, you said Mayo earlier? I was like, that, uh -huh. that, that's even doper. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, yeah, yeah Mr. Mayo. It was really fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> for sure, my boy. Have a good night, all right? All right, you too. Thank you. All right, brother. Peace. Adios, right. everybody. Yeah. Have a great night. Much love. Stay blessed. Stay strong. I love you. This is your boy, Pocho One, and I'm out. <laughs>